everybody, it's Jason with All Star Welding back at you with another exciting video. When the people at Vivor contacted me and asked me if I'd like to review their plasma torch, I quickly said yes because I love Vivor tools. As the box says, tough tools, half price. So let's dive into this and see what comes in the box. So right out of the box, you can see that you get everything that you need to get started right away. First, you get the plasma unit itself, and it is 220 volt, or they've included an adapter that you can also use 110 volt, and you don't have to make any switches on the machine. The box will sense what current is coming into the box and make its own adjustments. It also comes with an air pressure regulator with the gauge. It also comes with an air supply hose and a roll of Teflon tape. It also comes with a six foot ground clamp and these little clamps, they go on the machine itself so that you can wrap up your cord. It also comes with your standard 15 foot long AG60 plasma torch and, and it is just a regular two prong. So if anything happens to it, you can contact Viver and you can order a new one or it is just a standard two prong AG60 so that you can get a new one online. They also give you a small supply of consumables and an instruction booklet to get you started right away. So let's get this unit ready to use. First, you're gonna want to empty the contents of the plastic bag that the instruction book came in and you're gonna need a standard number two screw, uh, Phillips screwdriver and uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take these little spring clips and they mount on the top in these holes and this is for your cable management so that you can wrap your cable around the handle. Okay, once that's done, once you got these spring clips on, let's take our attention to the back of the machine. This is where you're going to want to attach your air pressure regulator. And it can't be any easier. All you have to do is loosen these two screws. Okay, for this next step, we're going to uh, prepare our pressure regulator for installation. Make sure that you've wrapped the ends of your barbs and the end of your gauge with the supplied Teflon tape. So you, uh, looking at the in port and the out port, you're gonna take this one out in the middle that's not labeled and you're gonna screw in your gauge. And then you're gonna take an 11 millimeter or 7 16 and you're just gonna snug that up until, it, until it's right set up and you can read it. All right, next, you're gonna want to take the port for in. Now they've provided these these hose barbs, but on my installation, I've decided to use um, a a male plug that works with with uh, my air compressor, and I'm going to use a 14 millimeter wrench. And I'm just going to snug this down really good. You don't want to kill it. You just want to make it tight so that you don't get any air leaks. Now on the back of it, I am going to use the supplied hose barb that they've sent. And I'm going to put that on the out. I'm going to turn it like that. And I'm going to use a 13 millimeter. And I'm just going to snug this down really good. Now it's ready for installation. You're gonna take this black ring right here, you're gonna unscrew it, lift it up, put this through the bracket, and then put this ring back on. Now you can take the supplied air supply hose that they gave you, and I'm gonna cut a piece that's long enough to go from this barb to this barb down here at the bottom that's labeled gas. 
Once you've got that completed, you're going to want to make a visual inspection of your hose. Make sure you don't have any tight bends or any crimps in the airline because that's going to give improper operation of your, your plasma unit. Okay, bringing our attention back to the front of the machine, we're now ready to plug in the plasma torch. You're going to remove this little plastic cover and you're going to take this and you're going to put it on those threads and you're just going to thread it on. Next, you're going to remove this little cap, set it aside, and then you're going to take this lead with the eye and you're going to put it on there. This is what provides the, um, the current for your pilot arc. And then put the cap back on. Next, you're going to take your two pin adapter and you're going to put it in this port and then tighten it down. And then you're going to take your ground clamp and notice it has a little picture of a clamp. You're going to take your ground clamp and you're just going to put it in there and twist it to lock it down. You're now ready to work. Reference the suggested cutting settings in your instruction manual and set your current and your airflow appropriately. Now you're ready to cut. doesn't get any easier than that. Now we're going to try it on a piece of quarter inch plate. Nice. Now to clean this up, just take a little hammer, tap it on the edge. See how easy that comes off? There you go. You have a nice, clean, straight cut. Well, there you go. The Cut 50P plasma cutter from Vivor makes your metal cutting task so much easier. If you want to get one of these, I've put an affiliate link down below so that you can order your own. Remember, that's Vivor, tough tools, half price.